Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to Blue Plays Elden Ring. We are here in Stormhill, which is apparently just, well, I guess kind of east, well, pretty much directly east of Stormville Castle. We have taken out Godric, and uh, we are now just kind of exploring. We aren't really following the guidance just yet. We're just going to poke around and see what else there is to see, especially see if we can find any more dungeons. Also, I just realized this kind of cool statue. Uh, so this appears to be a an arena for doing PvP, which you know I'm not really much of a fan of. But anyway, here are my stats, level 29. If you want to see them any further, go ahead and pause the video. But we're just going to hop on Torrent. I want to run around and just see if there's any way to actually get into this little coliseum. There's the ghost we talked to last time. It kind of seems pretty, pretty well shut, right? Yeah, it sure does. No way to get in. Oh, careful. Um, can you sneak around? Oh gosh, I don't think you're supposed to. Oh, oh, get back up. It doesn't want you to. Nope, it just knocked me off. It just kicked me off. <laughs> it almost looked like you could because then there was another rocky outcropping, but probably no reason to do it anyway. Um, well, blimey. Let's uh, zip back over. I don't think I had too many runes, so it's not going to be a big deal if we lose them. Let those wolves just hop down on me. That's fine. And let's see. Yeah, I want to find some more dungeons, some more caverns. I would like to get some more upgrade materials, not because of my short sword, or my straight sword, rather, but I would just like, look at this. That's really cool that they actually set the grass on fire. Uh, anyway, no, I would like to be able to uh, upgrade other items and not just use the straight sword. I think the flail would still be really cool. I just can't use it in its current state. Um, and yeah, just really anything else that I might find that could be fun. That new fist weapon I found in round table hold could be really cool, but uh, I think the faith requirement is really high. You know, it, it the sorcery is really good. Sorcery is very good. Um, where? Okay, I can get that. Sorcery is very good. It's very, very strong early on. The problem is, I'm just not finding a lot of reason to continue with sorcery or with an intelligence build. Maybe I'm, you know, not really giving it a fair chance, but I mean, I only just found another sorcery recently. I did get another staff, a very powerful staff. Uh, let's see. So that's the Warmaster Shack. Just trying to think here. What is that? That's the Limgrim Tunnel. So that's where I got all the upgrade materials. That's a gate from ruins. I don't actually know what that is, and I'm kind of curious. I know that we were up here. Well, first off, before we before we go anywhere else, let's ride around the rest of this arena and see if there's any way in. Maybe go kill those little fire leech slime things. And see if anything else kind of catches our eye. Otherwise, I may go down south and explore more of the central region of Limgrave. Oh, thought I saw something. No? So it's kind of like this is just the PvP arena, but you don't actually use the arena? It's a very, very open and empty area. Well, I can at least get free rune here. Definitely a lot easier just to ride right on torrent. Yeah, shockingly empty here. I thought they've been doing a pretty good job. There's a dung beetle up there. A pretty good job at keeping the open world, you know, really interesting. Oh, mount to combat. Here we go. Oh, what have you done? Can I just ride up alongside you? Come on. 
because what I can also do though is just you know pebble you of course I need to kind of be facing you yep that was easy enough oh I killed your horse well then here let's do this of course I just completely missed that back up oh back up long range I'm dead I'm dead oh you well I'm trying to get fancy with my guard counters Well, see if he actually has anything to drop for us. Obviously, magic is going to be a really easy way to cheese. I could try my new ground spike. Ooh, there's that fort over there, too. Let's go. Ah, stupid worms. I hate those things. I really hate them. Especially because of, uh, in my opinion, the area that they represent. Now, how am I going to get up to that dung beetle? We'll figure it out. All right. Yep, let's just quickly. It's unfortunate for you, but I have magic. And... Oh, he just did a guard counter. That was cool. I'm actually not even mad about that. That was pretty neat. Please don't. I beg of you. <laughs> uh, I'm going to I'm going to try something. I'm going to try something rather silly. Oh, I don't have any FP. That was even sillier. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I really just want to kill him with a carrying greatsword. Ready? And... Oh, you can hold it? You can charge it! Hello. Alright, glad I did it. Golden Vow. Now, what, uh, what, pray tell, is that? Golden Vow, skill passed down from antiquity among the knights of the capital. Raise armament aloft and pledge to honor the Urtree in battle, granting self and nearby allies. Increase attack power and defense. We are putting that on as soon as we can. That is awesome. All right, so we're going to have to do a little bit scaffolding here. Gotcha. Somber Smithing Stone, level one. And that's probably uh, about all she wrote up here, yeah? So let's see, nothing is popping up. There's the path that goes down there. So maybe what I'll do, maybe what I'll do is I'll hop down these ledges. There was a little fort right around here, I think. And we'll just kind of head south to whatever that mark. In fact, let's put a beacon there since we can do beacons. It's not very far at all. Hmm. I want to get onto the rooftop there. And I'm guessing torrent is going to be how I get there. Oh no, I guess I could make that jump. Yep. Not even any fall damage. Slumbering egg. A lance! Oh, I used to love... Hey, it's another one of those weird statues. We'll have to go take a look at that. Uh, what kind of strength requirement is a lance going to be? 20. 20 is not bad. 20 would only be... What? 14? So 4 points? That's not that bad. That could be really... I mean, my gosh, talk about mounted combat. Also, I can use 
summons here. I am going to switch back to my wolves. And hop down, hopefully silently. Yep. Grab some mushrooms, why not? And I sh oh, there's someone right here. Don't be hurting my dog. We should be able to get Flask back pretty quickly. Let's just rush in. You know, why not? Oh, there is a knight though. So we definitely want to cheese him. And puppies. Oh, come on, how did that miss? Charge, big charge. And that missed as well? I don't even see how that's possible. Hmm. Oh, we got a short sword. Well, I already had that. Foot soldier grieves. How about the little rock blaster? Why not? Absolutely a waste, but it was fun. So I'm not mad. Oh. Kind of feel a little bit guilty there. Anyone outside the gates that I have to deal with? There's a puppy. Oh, that looks like a trap. That absolutely looks like a trap. Um, I'm just trying to see what might happen if I do it. Ah, rings the bells. That's cool. All right. So nothing immediately happens, yet uh, you don't really want to trigger it. Exalted flesh. Good. I feel like there's maybe going to be some hidden stuff. It's hard, actually hard to hide stuff, it seems, in this game just because, uh, yeah, you have, uh, that the shiny is not just a shiny anymore. It's so oh, rude. Oh, okay. We got to get rid of the fire bombers, which they're doing, so never mind. Oh. Yeah, they're doing a phenomenal job up there. Uh, you know what I don't have though is my bow. And I think that that could prove useful. Let's get rid of the Miescorde. It's the, my best attempt uh, at a description or a pronunciation rather. There we have it, any flasks? Yep, there we go, got my flask back, wonderful. So this has now been cleared, yeah? There was the treasure, I think, though, right at the beginning, or right where I hopped down in, right? Yep. So what do we have here? Beast Crest, Beast Crest Heater Shield, a new Heater Shield? <laughs> you know how I love my Heater Shield. It, look at the guard boost. It's the same weight. It has better magic, better lightning, slightly less holy, but barely. And six extra guard boost. Oh, very, very, very happy with that. Very happy indeed. I kind of want to go and check out that statue. We found the other one earlier, and it sounds like it's some sort of puzzle. But I have to figure out how to get up there. So let's, let's do that. Let's run around these camps a little bit. And seems like maybe this is the way. I see one, two, three, four prowling giants. That's uh that's right towards the the beacon. That's not good. That's not where I want them to be. Where I want them to be is somewhere else. There it is. 
you know, I just realized that uh, this place is called... Oh, they're fading out because I'm in the... Yeah, because I left the area. But they're called Lone Wolves. There's three of them. Guide and gatekeeper for those returning to the roots. Oh, you're guiding me somewhere. Hmm. All right. Sure. I'll, uh... I'll take a look. Now, are the wisps still there? They are? For the roots. What, uh... What roots would those be? They kind of end right here, so I just have to, I guess, travel in a straight-ish line. Oh. Okay. Unthinkable. Our hallowed resting place is violated. To refuse the Urchery's call to return. To live within death. Sickening. To live within death. I do believe that would be uh, what D is referring to. To live in death. Death touched catacombs. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, according to him, we're looking specifically for a mariner, right? Or at least that's what he's looking for. I don't even know how many I have. Nah, not nearly enough. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We are going to be changing our ashes of war to yes oh and they're sacred so i can add holy damage now let's try it let's try some holy damage i mean we're in the catacombs right you would think sacred damage against potentially the undead is a good idea and i'm sure just like in the one catacombs doesn't open yep i gotta go find the switch Huh, let's see. Let's see if I was right. Okay, so I still have to attack them when they're down. I still have to attack them when they're down. I thought maybe holy damage would prevent that. Come on now. Also, we can get some more glove wart for our summons. Yeah, when they're glowing like that, that's when you have to bring them back. I know that that guy's gonna pop up. And others. I'm, I can only assume that this is what that statue was referring to because it did lead me here. So Grave Glove Ward level one. Come on, this way. Ooh, glowing eyes. Why is that? Does this mean you drop something? Nope. Okay, let's just grab this while he's starting to come back. Okay, the lever straight ahead. But I see... Yeah, they're trying to draw us out. Don't, don't, don't fall for it. Just hang back. Ooh, you know what? Because I think... Sounds like many of them are going to start joining. If I can line them all up, that would be amazing. Um, but no, nope, looks like just you so far. So we'll kill you, then we'll try to aggro the others and get them in a line, and then we'll we'll just glintstone arc them.
No? Okay. Let's just, let's do this. Let's play a little fast and loose. Well, it's not as fun. Oh, you guys are rolly guys. So they are basically half Dark Souls skeletons, half uh, Demon Souls skeletons. Did I get him in time? Yeah, you do have a pretty good window to actually take them out. Scimitar. I would not mind using a scimitar. Actually, does scimitar have innate bleed buildup? That's my first curve sword, I believe. No bleed. No bleed. That's okay. That's all right. I'm not mad. Just disappointed. I know that there's an archer up top, so let's just roll out of the way. At least I assume it's a... Yeah, it is an archer. Okay. Well, excuse me while I... Serpentine. A great violet. That's a new one. Blood rose. <laughs> Look at the arrow sticking out of me. Um, hmm. Blood rose is crafting. Particularly beloved by those who serve the Lord of Blood. Glory to his inevitable reign. Not sure who that is. Okay, so the door's now open. These guys are now alive. Okay, let's be smart. Let's heal. And was there a ladder? There's no ladder. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to run. Run as much as we can, at least. I would like to kill them. Because they're easy enough. I guess I should have known that the scimitar wasn't going to have bleed when they're attacking me and I'm not getting any bleed buildup. So I guess in order to get up there I have to go in that door. Well, I wanted to dungeon delve. I did want... Wait, but this just goes to... The boss. Alright, hold on. Because there's definitely an item up there. And I'd like to know what I'm missing to get to it. No doors. I mean, unless there's... Oh, wait. Nope. Unless there's an illusory wall, which there there could be. I'm not really checking pretty much at all. I see no ladder. Unless it's beyond the boss. But, hmm. Alright, well let's go, let's go take a peek behind the fog wall and see what the boss is like and if I can uh, also probably just a bone shard oh and some arrows okay oh here it is okay grab these and then get ready for a fight quickly get the iframes Perfect. Grab, grab. There we are. Nice, nice. And here we are. Oh, gosh. And once again, love the fact that you can do that even with a ranged attack. Let's grab this. What is it? 
No way. Uchigutsuhana, this was one of my favorite, favorite weapons in Dark Souls. I just got an Uchigutsuhana. Why does it need 11 strength? Why does everything need strength? <laughs> nice blood be uh, blood buildup. A unique weapon wielded by the samurai from the land of reeds. A blade with its undulating design boasts extraordinary sharpness and its slash attacks cause blood loss. Unsheath. Holding it at the tip. Okay, so it's like the weapon skill from Dark Souls 3. We just hold it at the ready and then can let it out very, very quickly. Cool. Yep, glad I went up there. And now... I mean, I really, really ought to go rest at the site of Grace, but that just seems so far. Plus, I mean, I got magic. And considering I'm just assuming whatever this boss is, it's going to have ads... Black Knife Assassin. Wait a minute. Black Knife Assassin is already missing health. Why? Okay. You have my attention. Cool weapon. I mean, <laughs> thanks for the free backstab, I guess? Let's just try and see if he dodges. I assume he does. He almost doesn't, though, just because of the... Just because of the way that works. All right, here we go. Ready, and... You dodge that, too. Come on. Oh, hey, guess what I can do? <laughs> Hope you like thugs. <laughs> Just not fair. Just not fair. Uh-oh. I wonder why he's at low health. Come on, I actually want him to attack me? But he's not getting a chance. I feel a little bad. Oh well, let's just finish it. Whoa! <laughs> Okay. Maybe don't get too confident. Thank you. Thank you, puppies. Assassin's Crimson Dagger. I got his weapon. I got his weapon. And we also get... Deathroot. Maybe D is interested in Deathroot? Deathroot. Death <laughs> what is... What is Deathroot? I don't know, but we also got some some root resin. So, let's take a look at what we just got. Hmm, where is it? Uh Where is it? Wasn't it a weapon? Okay. Color me confused. Nope. You lost me. I really and truly don't know what that was beast clergymen seek and devour these a source that gives rise to those who live in death this is exactly what he was talking about the beast clergyman found a bestial sanctum in the distant east collects and devours these roots so maybe that's who d wants me to hunt down on the night of the dire plot the stolen rune of death enabled the first death of a demigod later the rune of death spread across the lands between through the underground roots of the great tree Sprouting in the form of death root. But what did I get? <laughs> really and truly, what, what did I get? It was an assassin's dagger. 
It's a talisman. <gasps> Critical hits restore HP. This charm is modeled after the darkly gleaming blades used in the Night of Black Knives, those which gave the demigods their first taste of death. Okay. All right, here's what we're going to do. It is wrapping up time, so we're going to go back to the Lost Table. I want to talk to D, see if now he has anything to say now that we've encountered them. But that was pretty cool. Those who live in old... Aha, yes, I can show him death root. Well, well, another fool who won't listen to reason, eh? But with a prowess for weeding death root. Hmm. How would you like to earn the strength of beasts? If you're inclined to haunt more of those who live in death and weed their death root, then I'll introduce you to Garank, the beast clergyman. I have a matter of my own to attend to, and the beast himself wishes for someone to take my place. What say you? Yeah, I'm in. Very well. Show me your map. I've marked the location for you of a hidden gateway. It will lead you to Garank, the beast clergyman. So, where's that? Right there? Sending gate. Oh, it's so close to... No, not to Kaelid. Ah, uh, That's not at all where I wanted to go. But it's not really far off from the death-touched catacombs. Awesome. Very cool. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. That was exciting. And uh, yeah, another new quest line to follow. So many, so many. And I haven't even started that notebook that I said I was going to, and I really, really need to. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you're still enjoying. Hope you are getting a chance to play this amazing game on your own. But we will see you next time.